We're going to create an aseptic field. We'll begin by using the disinfectant cytokon. We spray the cytokon over the surface of our table and wipe it to spread it out. We allow the cytokon to evaporate. During evaporation, microorganisms will be killed. We're going to repeat the process with ethanol. Again, spraying, wiping, and waiting for the ethanol to evaporate. When the ethanol has evaporated, we'll light the Bunsen burner. Lighting the Bunsen burner creates an updraft across our clean surface. This reduces the chance that microorganisms from the environment will fall into our workspace. Now we're ready to aseptically transfer liquids from one vessel to another. Loosen the caps on both vessels. In this case, we're transferring sterile water from a bottle to the flask you'll use for your enrichment culture. Hold the caps in the fingers of one hand. Flame the lips of the vessel. Use a sterile pipette to extract the volume of liquid that you need. Reflame the bottle and replace the cap. Repeat the process on the other vessel. The insides of both of these vessels are sterile as long as you work aseptically. Flame the vessel and replace the cap. Next, we'll show you how to aseptically transfer liquids from a conical tube to your sterile flask. First, loosen the cap. Remove it, hold on to it. Working in your aseptic field, use your sterile pipette to remove the volume of liquid that you want. Avoid flaming the plastic. Replace all caps. You can flame the glass. Put your volume in. Reflame the glass. Replace the caps. Again, you worked in your aseptic field. Next, we aseptically transfer a small volume from a microcentrifuge tube using a micropipetter. Get one sterile tip. Extract the volume that you need. Working in your aseptic field, remove the lid. Flame the vessel. Place the volume in, reflame the vessel, and replace the lid. In this case, your pipette tip goes into the waste. Here we show you how to aseptically transfer your bacteria culture into your flask. Notice how the pipette bulb is attached to the sterile serological pipette. The bacteria are in a glass tube. This tube can be flamed. You can extract your liquid bacteria culture, replace the cap and tube, Flame your glass flask, add your bacteria, reflame your flask, and replace the lid.